Hi my friend, I'm Dan Hammer and this video series is all about helping you maximize your training, performance, and recovery during your high altitude sport. In our last video, I introduced you to the endothelium that lines all of your cardiovascular system. Most people have never heard of this organ, but it is critical to your health and performance. One of the reasons why is that your endothelial cells produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. Nitric oxide does a lot. In fact, you could not live without proper nitric oxide production. It's needed for proper airway relaxation for improved lung function. Nitric oxide regulates the muscle tone of your vascular wall, resulting in vasodilation for improved blood flow. Nitric oxide prevents blood platelet cells from sticking together to prevent blood clots. By properly repairing and nourishing your endothelial cells, you will improve blood circulation. There are many different training programs designed to help you build strength, stamina, speed, endurance, and power specific to your high altitude sport. Foundational to every training program is your ability to fuel your muscle tissues with oxygen and nutrients to sustain your efforts. The limiting factors are energy production and lactic acid. As I shared with you in a previous video, anaerobic respiration, which is energy production without oxygen, nets only two units of energy for every one unit of glucose. Plus, lactic acid is formed, which becomes the limiting factor for muscular contraction. Aerobic respiration, which is energy production when oxygen is present, nets 36 units of energy for every one unit of glucose, 18 times more energy over anaerobic respiration, and its waste products are water and carbon dioxide. Water to help hydrate you and carbon dioxide to help the lungs actually bind more oxygen to the hemoglobin to help deliver more oxygen to your working muscles and tissues. So let's look at how this affects your training at high altitudes. Nitric oxide improves blood flow to help deliver more oxygen and nutrients to your working muscles. This will allow you to work at a higher aerobic capacity for a longer period of time. You will be able to generate more energy to fuel your activities with substantially less lactic acid formation. Thus you can work at a higher intensity and be able to recover quicker so that subsequent training sets can be performed at a higher intensity with less lactic acid buildup. This improves your anaerobic threshold which is the limiting factor for most people in their training program especially at high altitudes. It will also strengthen your legs and, and core muscle groups that are needed to help sustain activities at high altitude. So what about performance? Athletic performance is a product of your training and the ability to properly fuel your body to meet the demands of your high altitude sport. Just like in training, knowing how to repair and nourish your endothelial cells will improve their ability to properly produce nitric oxide to make a significant difference in your high altitude performance. By optimizing the health of your endothelial cells, you will help improve circulation. Improved circulation improves the delivery of needed oxygen and nutrients while carrying away the waste products that can limit performance. Greater energy levels with substantially less lactic acid formation. Again, you have significantly improved your anaerobic threshold, which is usually the limiting factor for most people at high altitude and can affect everyone's performance. This will also have a positive effect on recovery. Recovery is a combination of waste product removal and reloading the muscle tissue with the nutrients they need for repair and energy production. This is a function of improved circulation. With improved circulation, it's easier to remove the limiting waste products to speed recovery. Improved circulation also delivers the needed nutrients to reload the muscle tissue and facilitate any tissue repair. All of this means quicker recovery from both your training and performance activities 
at high altitudes. The bottom line to all this is improved ability to sustain your high altitude sport for a longer period of time. Plus you can sustain it at a higher intensity with less lactic acid buildup allowing for quicker recovery and substantially less muscle fatigue and soreness. This means that you will be able to enjoy your high altitude sport the next day and the day after rather than seeing a reduction in activity from lack of energy and increased muscular pain and stiffness. So, the question becomes, how do you go about naturally healing and nourishing the endothelium so that you can improve your endothelial cells ability to properly produce nitric oxide? We'll cover this in our next video. If you have any questions about this information or need to contact me, then please either email me or call me directly. My contact information is listed on the screen. Or contact the person who turned you on to this video series. We're part of a team whose mission is to save a million lives so that they can enjoy life to the fullest. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video as I share information about two amino acids that must be part of your daily diet. These two amino acids are needed by your endothelial cells to properly create nitric oxide. When they're brought into your body together, they create a synergistic effect that can make a remarkable difference in your ability to enjoy your high altitude sport.